Anti-sea hippos are the latest group of awful people we now have to worry about. <laughs> All right, so you see what they you see what they're doing. All right, they um when they come out with this um micro C hip, all right, the MOTB, they're gonna say the ones who um who ain't got it are the problem, all right, just like they did with the um with the juice, man, the Capri Sun. All right, the jump shot, the jab. All right, but before I go any further, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rukakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. All right, Shalom, peace and blessing to the hopeful elect, the house of David, which consists of you so called um, Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. So, yeah, man, you can see, all right, you got this article. All right. You got this article, all right, anti-sea hippos are the latest group of awful people we now have to worry about. All right, and we just going to, um, I think it's a pretty long article. We just going to, uh, we just going to read a little bit of it. Let me see how long it is. It looked like it's kind of long. Well, it ain't too long. Yeah, it ain't too long. I probably read most of it. And I'm uh, I'm gonna read it pretty fast because it's a little lengthy. So I'm gonna try to you know breeze through it as quick as I can. All right. All right. Anti sea hippos are the latest group of awful people we now have to worry about. As if these troubling times haven't already encumbered all right, us with enough challenges. All right, and that's what they're going to do, man. All right. <laughs> that's, that's all part of the plot, man. Bring about these, you know, these crises and these, you know, these crises and these all, you know, these these pestilences and, you know, inflation and all these ties into this um the C-HIP, man, which is the MOTB. All right. Let's go ahead and get that. All right. Revelation. All right. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might by himself say he, save he that had the mark or the name or the beast or the number of his name. All right. And that's the sea help, man. That's the sea hip. And they already painting the narrative that the people who ain't down with, the people who don't want to dance, all right, the people who don't want to play ball, all right, it's go it's gonna be the problem. All right, and they already did um another exercise for the next pandemic, all right, called um catastrophic contagion. All right, which was simulating all right, the next pandemic. All right. So this this going this going to be pretty much the next phase phase man of the C19 pandemic or it might be or it might be a whole new um virus or a different mutation or whatever man but this is going this is what everything is leading to all right the MOTB all right the um C hip all right and they're going to say that this is the solution all right to all the problems in the earth all right everything you see with the inflation and you know the getting rid of cash this is what all this leading to, man. The MOTB. All right, because this is a major, major prophecy. They got to happen before um, Yahweh shot on um, my Lord and Savior. All right, come back. All right, we're going to keep reading. They're paranoid, don't believe in science, which we know Esau, he believes in science, all right, not the Most High. All right, he is completely against the Most High, all right. He believes in his science. All right, many have, many have white supremacist tendencies. And, and, and most importantly, they want you to know that the micro C-hip implants are super duper scary. They're anti-C-hippers and they've got literally dozens more brain cells than your average anti-juicer, anti, um, anti-maxina. So what's their deal? All right, and as you can see, they're already saying, you know, we conspiracy theories and all the people that, that, that ain't with it. You know, they're, they're going to say they're crazy, they're conspiracy nuts. All right, and all this, man. 
All right, so they're getting everything ready, man. The sea virus pandemic has the world's most brilliant minds. Yeah, right, scrambling to find treatments, vaccines, and ways to improve public health going forward. One such savior is Bill Bill Hayes. All right, um, kill kill Gates. All right, the the child loving philanthrop philanthropist who founded Microsoft. His proposal is to put a teeny tiny piece of silicone on everyone's skin to improve people's lives by reducing health care costs and keeping track of anyone deemed unhealthy by medical professionals. Yeah, man. So you see who you see who behind it. All right. And like I, like everyone like the, um like the like the brothers pointing out, man. Why the hell? What the hell? He got to do. He don't got no kind of medical background, man. He's a computer guy. And that's Ed and Malcolm um uh, brought out of GM in Chicago. It's not coming out that he ain't even the one um he stole that man. He ain't even the one behind the uh, computer stuff, man. Behind Microsoft. So yeah, they already getting this thing ready, man. And he the one that um put together the um simulation of catastrophic contagion. All right. And, and in that, they said that, and you know, it was mostly um kids that were affected. So they saying the next pandemic, all right, is going to be mostly um be mostly um children, man. All right, so you can see this thing all coming together. All right, this is why we watch, man. All right, you got this guy um. You got this guy Kill Bates, all right? I'm saying it backwards. <laughs> as, a, <laughs> as there's a possible rum out, put it, man. All right, Kill Bates. All right, he already, you know, <laughs> you know, he already got this thing laid out, man. That damn devil. All right, now what could possibly be bad about health professionals and doctors keeping Americans safe and healthy? You'd be surprised or not. All right, the anti-small had origin of anti-sea hippos. All right, and that's talking, the anti um Semitic, all right? It's talking about the people over there in our land, all right? Them gutter rats, them devils over there in our land now, all right? Them bastards, all right? When you examine the undercurrent of anti sea hippo movement, one horde realization toward towers above all others, anti small hat is festering at the root of all, or at, at the root of this evil, all right? And as you can see, once again, it's saying that these people. <laughs> As you can see, what's been on the um, news and that them blew up and went worldwide. They're saying that these are um, these are anti um Semitic, all right. Which lets you know that which lets you which lets you know that they're watching the Hebrew Israelites, man. Cause that's who speak out against the small heads, man. That's who's speaking out against some gutter rats in our land and exposing the fact that they're not the real people, all right. They ain't the Israelites, all right. Let me see why I stopped that. What is this? Of course, not all anti sea hippos are anti Semites, but it doesn't change the fact that they're engaging in a conspiracy theory propagated by anti Semites who fuel fear over what the elites or the globalists would do to you. This is coded anti small hat language and dog whistling according to law that civil rights organization ADL. All right, and the ADL is this group, all right, that's, um, that's um basically coming against um the Hebrew Israelites, all right? That's demonizing, all right, the one West camps, all right. And I don't think they had um they had this article, which I don't think they had anything about um GMS in there, all right. Which lets you know that GMS is the only group with the hundred percent full truth, because all these other groups infiltrate. That's how the ADL get all the information, all right. But yeah, man, they got the ADL, man. All right, already getting ready um, to come against the, um, the anti sea hippos. All right, one of the leading voices of the anti sea hippo movement is none other than Kanye Ye West, who said they want to put sea hips inside of us. In an interview with Forbes, take note here: Kanye said they want to put sea hips inside of us. Who is they in this case? All right. And they is talking about the elites, man, the globalists. All right, your Rockefellers, your Rothschilds, your, your Gettys, your DuPonts, your Oppenheimers. All right, that crowd, right, that crowd of devils, right there, man. The elites of Esau Edom. We clarified that the word "they" is coded language 
for the small hats in the 2022 interview with radical far right extremist Tim Fool, Tim Pool, and the small hats that he's talking about is the um the elite, them families, man, them 13 families. In in the interview with Forbes, West also said that micro C hips are the MOTB, which it is. And they want to put C hips inside of us. They want to do all kinds of things to make it where you can't cross the gates of heaven. This appeal to religion, while perhaps innocuous to the untrained ear, is truly anti small hat in nature when you consider who is saying it. West, like other anti small hats, often invoke religions like Christianity or Islam as a way to exclude small hats. In other words, Western imply that the small hats want to micro C hip Christians to keep them from going to heaven. Which also implies that small hats go to hell. All right, and as we know, um, hell don't exist. Hell means the grave. All right, and also, you know, hell also means a condition that's played out on the earth, man. Like us right now, the Israelites, we in our hell. And these small hats, and all the Edomites, all right, which, which they divide, but these Edomites are in their heaven. All right, they're in their rulership. This is an idea shared among many anti sea hippos. All right. And let's go back to that part where he, they said that Kanye said, um, all right, the C-Hips are the MOTB and they want to put C-Hips inside of us. They want to do all kinds of things to make it where we can't cross the gates of heaven, all right? Which, the gate, which heaven is going to be on earth, man, upon the, um, the return of, um, Yahweh Shai. All right, here, I so like it. What the hell am I about? Here, all right. Heaven is going to be on earth, man. As the scriptures say um, in the Lord's Prayer, on earth as it is in heaven. All right, so the kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth, which which means the rulership of the Israelites, all right? And our nation's going to be in captivity to the Israelites. All right. So let's get that in. Um, let's stay in Revelation chapter 14. What a part about that they, they, they will um, cast into the um, lake of fire. That might be 16. We're going to come back to get that in 14 too. But let's get... Uh, might be 20, 19 or 20. Uh, yep, all right. This book of Revelation, chapter 19. We'll start at, we'll start at 19. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth. That's talking about Esau, all right. And his angels, which is the other nations, they're going to try to fight uh, my Lord Yahweh and the angels, all right. When, when they come through the wrong. Um, when they come to this realm, all right, through the sea, which is they're going to come through heaven, all right, which is the sky, and enter into this realm, all right. And I saw the beasts and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse, and that's Yahweh Shai, all right, and the horse is a chariot, all right, the fathership, all right, Yahweh Shai going to be on a big, gigantic, all right, chariot, a so-called UFO, all right. And I saw the beasts and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse, and against his army. Verse 20. And the beast was taken. Letting you know that they ain't going to win. Alright. And the beast was taken. And with him the false prophet. And the false prophet. is the um, Roman Catholic Church. Alright. And with him the false prophet. That wrought miracles before him. With which he deceived them. That had received the. Um, Salaki. Let me start. Let me start back. With, with which he deceived them. That had received the MOTB. And that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. And that lake of fire burning with brimstone is um, America. All right, America is going to be completely destroyed, man, and turned into a lake of fire. All right, by the nuclear missiles and the chariots. All right, it's going to be one big lake of fire, man. And everybody who take the mark, all right, it's going to be, it's going to be burnt, all right, cast alive into the fire, the scripture as we just read. All right, so they ain't going to make it. So the Israelites that take it, all right, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American that take the sea hip, all right, the MOTB, all right, they ain't going to make it on the first go-round. Now, eventually, they're going to come back through the loans of the elect, all right, 
the first fruits. All right, but they ain't going to, um, they going to, they going to have to be, um, they're going to have to be killed, man. Cast into the lake of fire. All right. So there you go, man. As they said, Kanye said they want us to take this MOTB so that we um can't get in, into the um into heaven. All right. Of course, West isn't the only prominent anti C hippo. There's also figures like Alex Jones, who has been anti C hippo for at least a decade. For example, one article published on InfoWars claimed that Israeli politician Benjamin Netanyahu proposed the MOTB after he suggested that children should have micro C hips for perfectly reasonable safety reasons. All right, and I'll probably um and I'll probably put that clip with um Alex Jones and um Aaron Russo about the um MOTB about the C hip at the end of this lesson, man. Cause that's a, hey, that's a classic uh, that's a classic video, man. And that's a major that's a major video for the sake of prophecy, man. So I'm I, so most likely I'm gonna put that at the end of this lesson. All right. According to J Post, man, and Yahoo said every person, every kid. All right, there you go again with the kids. All right, which I which like I said earlier when they did that um simulation. All right, catastrophic contagion about the next pandemic, about the next major virus. They said that's gonna that this gonna be mostly kids, man. All right, so letting you know who they're going after. All right, according to J Post, so like according to J Post, man, and Yahoo said every person, every kid. All right, here you go. I want it on kids first would have a sense of that would sound an alarm when you get too close like the ones on cars. Look at that, man. That's crazy, man. Look look at this shit, man. A sense of that would sound an alarm when you get too close like the ones on cars. If, 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 this, if, if this man, if this so-called white man ain't the devil, then I don't know who he is, man. All right. Of course, Netanyahu's proposal was completely understandable. But it was enough for Alex Jones, who happened to platform fellow anti-small hatter Kanye West, to stir up anti-small hat fear mongering about the Jewish MOTB. All right, and the MOTB, all right, it's not just from the um, small hats, man. Ultimately, it's from the Most High. That's the hour of temptation. All right, but it's just it's going to be implemented by the beast, which is this new Roman system. All right. The modern, um, the revived Roman Empire, which is Babylon, man, which is America, all right, which is basically, you know, the the, the kingdom of um, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, and it's not a coincidence that Jones put a target on that Yahoo, who is most prominent Jewish, who is the most prominent Jewish man in the world, all right, the most prominent small head, all right. Implants are inev inevitable. But that's a good thing, which this damn devil, this um, this guy Klaus Klaus Schwab, all right, said that um, uh, said that I think he said that by twenty twenty five, I want to say, which he was speaking at a um conference, as he was looking into the crowd, he said um, uh, and I quote, "You all gonna have um, you all gonna have um implants, all right, and you gonna basically he said you all gonna have implants and you gonna like it." Basically, what he was saying to the people. All right, so implants are in, 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 inevitable. All right, but that's a good thing. Whether you like it or not, chances are you will voluntarily get the get the micro get the micro C hip implant. And if you don't, your children um will get the micro C hip implants. Why wouldn't they? Basically, saying that you ain't gonna have no say so, man. Especially when it comes to your kids. All right. Why wouldn't they? There's nothing nefarious about advancements in health technology. Implants will become a normal part of everyday life and it will be overall a net positive for humanity. All right, which is the devil, all right? He's going to deceive a lot of people, man. A lot of people a lot of people going to take it through deception. A lot of people going to take it through pressure. All right, because uh, um, all hell going to be done broke loose, man. There's going to be food shortages, all right? Cash going to be gone. It's going to be pestilence everywhere. And they're gonna plant, they're gonna demonize the people who don't get it. Alright. And they, as the scripture says, it's gonna be punishable by death, man. Alright, all that um that didn't take the mark, alright. Was um and he caused all that didn't take it to be um to be killed, put to death. 
All right, so, so it's going to be a lot of reasons that people get this thing, man. And the elect ain't going to get it under no circumstance. If you take this thing, you're going to be destroyed, man. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. All right, 100% guarantee you're going to be destroyed if you get this MOTB, which is the ZOMC here. All right. And as you see, they said in this article, people going to voluntarily get it. Yeah, because they... That's... Um, that's the uh, Journal Revelator song Isle of Patmos. People lined up getting this thing, man. A lot of people going to be starved out. A lot of people ain't going to be able to, you know, you ain't going to be able to work without it. All right. So it's going to be um, pressure from above and below. All right. And they're going to, these all eat them, going to um, bring forth this crisis and make it look like this is the, this is the solution. Let me see how much further I got to go. I might read a little faster to try to go and get through it. You know, I don't think it's too much. Yeah, it don't look like it's too much. At first, Michael C. I'm going to read a little faster here, all right, to try to, I don't want to make this too long. At first, Michael C. Hip implants will be used to warn doctors about impending heart attacks. Currently, Michael C. Hip implants are already being developed and used to control prosthetic limbs. Michael C. Hips are also used in some patients with Parkinson's to help detect tremors. According to the expert, pr proliferation of this technology is in inevitable which means um it's going is it's guaranteed pretty much guaranteed to happen it's certain all right it's certainly uh, it's certain to happen it's bound to happen be honest with yourself are you callous enough to suggest that people with prosthetic limbs can't cross can't cross the gates of heaven because they have a micro c here which we just read in the scriptures man anybody who take this thing gonna be put to death cast into the lake of fire and we're gonna get some more scriptures on it as Michael C. Hills become normalized, it also seems natural that most services, news, and entertainment will be accessible via a network on the Michael C. Hip, and eventually certain services will be only accessible via a Michael C. Hip, which means that those who refuse to get, get a Michael C. Hip will be left out of these services. There you go. All right, you're going to be cast out. All right, you're going to be outcast. You ain't going to be able to participate in society. It would be like not having an internet connection in 2022 and relying only on VHS tapes and a VCR. Even put it aside, the benefits of convenience, Michael C. Hip implants will offer other benefits like a sharp decrease in crime, just like pets and farm animals that are giving Michael C. Hips to track their movement. And that shit tell you everything you know. The, the pets that got it, they saying that, they saying that the, when people get it, they ain't going to be able to be tracked. But pets get it just for the sole purpose of being tracked. Let you know that, man. This is also going to be for tracking, man. All right, complete and total control, as um, Alice Jones and Aaron Russo said in the interview. Just like pets and farm animals that are given Michael C. Hips to track their movement, humans with Michael C. Hip implants will be awarded the same, the same benefit. Crime and disappearances will fade away into distant history and be viewed, and be viewed with disgust as we view the, the medieval world now. Now, you know that they're going to demonize people that don't get it, and they're going to say that they're the problem. Admittedly, this form of crime fighter might have some systematic racism attached to it, so the future of this particular feature is uncertain. What is certain is that the Michael C. Hill implants will eventually be able to fight even misinformation like racism and anti-Semitism at its very core, that is, in the brain of anti-Semites and racists, fact checkers and medical professionals will finally be able to interrupt blatantly evil thoughts before before they can manifest in some stochastic or domestic terror. Let, let, you know that... Uh, that's the devil you you've all know Haral said, all right. Humans gonna be hackable, man. They're gonna be able to control your thoughts. And make no mistake, this is why anti seeables are obnoxiously, obnoxious, obnoxiously fighting tooth and nail to prevent medical progress. The future holds a promise of a world without hate, without poverty, and without struggle. But it can't happen if we don't resist the anti sea hip or dystopia. Alright, so there you go, man. They are already getting this thing ready, man, loaded up, ready to go. All right, so we're just going to bring out a few basic scriptures, man. All right, about the people that get this thing. All right. Revelation 14 and 9. And before we, this is an um, unrighteous decree, man, by Esau Edom, which is the Lord doing it, all right, go, bring forth the hour of temptation. But let's get that in Michael 2 and 1, man. All right, because this is an unrighteous decree. Because they're going to make this thing mandatory eventually. It might be voluntary at first, just like they did with the Yab, all right, the juice. 
but eventually it's going to be mandatory and, and punishable by death. All right, so let's get Michael. There you go. Let's get this is my, this is the book of Michael chapter two verse one. Walks of them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. Yeah, you saw Edom is in his power in his rulership, so he's gonna bring this thing to pass, man. And like I said, he gonna be, this is gonna be mandatory. All right. This is Esau Edom, all right. As you can see in the article, they already got the, the narrative, man, ready to go. All right, this is this this is this is um iniquity, man. All right. Well to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. So this thing ain't gonna happen, man. This is a major prophecy. All right. This is a major prophecy. And as you can see in this article, they already saying. <laughs> they already saying that the, the anti sea hippos are the, are, are, are awful. They already labeling us awful people, man. All right. And which is already here, but it's going to be brought to the forefront. All right. It's already a big deal in um, countries like Sweden. All right. And it's going to come to Babylon and America soon, man. All right. So let's go back to Revelation. And as the scripture say, walk to them that walk down to evil, man. I meant to like you're not evil. Walk to them that walk down to Egypt. All right. In America, it's the modern day Egypt. All right. Because a lot of people, I ain't going to have a lot of our people. A lot of our, a lot of so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, they ain't gonna have no faith, and they gonna run to Esau, Edom, all right, the modern day Egyptians, modern day Pharaoh for help, man, to be their savior. All right, so let's get Revelation fourteen and nine. All right, the punishment for taking this thing. This is the book of Revelation chapter fourteen verse nine, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast and his image." And receive his mark in their forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And, and indignation is um righteous anger. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the Lamb is Yahweh. Shah. All right. And again, like it said in um, like we read earlier in Revelation, I think it was um nineteen. All right, that lake of fire is um, going to be um, the destruction of um, America, Babylon the Great. All right, that's going to be that, that great lake of fire, man. And as we just read here in Revelation, the 14th chapter, all right, the people that take this sea hip, all right, going to be going to be, be destroyed in that, in that lake of fire, man. Torment it. All right, they're going to dwell in torment, man. And they're going to feel every, every, every ounce of that pain, man. Cause you how about you how about you gonna hold them in that fire before they before they before they uh soul before they spirit before they soul go back to the spirit world man they're gonna do as the scripture say they're gonna dwell in torment all right so let's go to um did I get sixteen no I don't think I got it yet and if I did we will get it again it ain't gonna hurt nothing. Uh, this book of Revelation chapter 16, we'll start at the top. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, go your ways and pour out the, the vials of the wrath of the Most High upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a nausea and grievous sore upon the men which had which had the MOTB and upon them which worship his image. All right. So there you go, man. If people take this thing, man, you're going to get that grievous sore, man, which is which is most likely going to be like a kind of cancer. Or some kind of sickness or a grievous illness, all right, that's gonna come upon everybody that take this thing, man. All right, <laughs> so you ought to, you you ain't to get this um MOTB to see him under no circumstances, man, even in the face of death. All right, we got to be willing to die not to take this thing, man. All right, as you as we just read, all right, they're gonna get that northern and grievous sore, all right, so ain't nothing good gonna come out of um. Taking this thing, it might, it might seem like it. And he saw using this witchcraft, he gonna make it like this to answer to the world's problem. 
right? And the people who don't want to take, he gonna make it seem like they're the problem. But I ain't, I ain't, I ain't nothing good gonna come out of it, man. All right, did I get? I think I got Revelation nineteen already. Yeah, I think I got that. Yeah, that's about the lake of fire. Well, we we'll get it again. You can, you can, you can't have enough edification. I will right, we'll go straight to the point. All right, and the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the um, MOTB and them that worshipped his image. These were both cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. All right, so there you go, man. So hey, <laughs> you get this thing if you want to. You can't say you ain't been warned. All right. The MOTB is the C hip. All right. And the C hip is the MOTB. Do not take it. All right. So y'all already got this thing locked and loaded, man. All right. As you can see in this article, as we bought out, man. And it's going to come to pass, all right. It's coming. All right. Because this is. um. John already saw it, man. This is the work of the Lord. This is a, uh, this is a major prophecy. So it got to come to pass. All right, and they're gonna get Esau. Either he gonna get it off the ground. All right, he gonna seem like it ain't gonna. It, the Lord gonna test our faith, man. All right, this is gonna be the hour of temptation because it gonna seem like it ain't no way you can win or prosper without taking this thing, man. All right, but that's when our faith gonna come into play. That's when the Lord gonna see who really got that faith and who don't. All right, that's gonna be the hour of temptation, man. So we're gonna have to go complete. We're gonna have to live completely off um, our faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So that's why we're supposed to be building up our faith now, man, and living in this world, living in this truth. All right, living these scriptures so we can, when this stuff comes, you can have that comfort. All right, as scriptures say in Isaiah thirty, in Isaiah the third, the thirty third chapter in the sixth verse. All right, wisdom and knowledge shall be the st stability of our time. All right, so we're gonna need that faith, man, because this thing is this thing is coming. All right, and we're gonna be cast out of society, man. All right, we might have to live in the woods. All right, we might steadily be on the move. All right, we don't know. We it's up to the Lord, man. So we don't know what kind of situations we're gonna have to be. We we don't, we don't know what kind of um circumstances we're gonna have to face, face, and what kind of situations we're gonna be in. So we're gonna we're gonna have to have that um our movable faith, man. All right, because this, this thing is coming, all right? And like I said, he going to get it off the ground, but the most high going to throw a monkey wrench in, all right? He going to put a stop to their plan. All right, let's get that in Job. All This is the book of Job, chapter 20, verse 23. We can start at. Uh, we can start at verse twenty-two. In his in the fullness of his sufficiency, sufficiency to lock it. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. All right, so there you go, man. He shall fl flee from the iron weapon, and the bow still shall strike him through. All right, so there you go, man. These devils ain't going to win. All right, and like I said, they're going to get it off the ground, but as we just read here in Job, man. All right, the Lord going to put a big <laughs> market reach in their plans, man. And he gonna, the Lord going to bring the counsel of the wicked to naught. All right, and the, uh, and the elect, the elect going to win, man. The elect going to, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh going to bring the elect through that fire. And it's gonna be some martyrs for, all right, for the uh, for the witness of um, Yahweh Shah, all right, as the scriptures say. But but they're gonna be the first reason, man. The ones, the martyrs, the ones that put that's put to death, all right, for not taking this thing for the sake of Yahweh Shah and for the sake of the truth, all right. They're gonna be the um the, the ones that the first ones that that um go up into the chariots, man. All right, they're gonna be risen first. Right, and they're gonna be already in, in the chariots when the rest of the uh, the elect of the scripture say they that um that they that are alive and remain gonna be called up to meet the meet them um in the chariot. All right, hey, so this thing ain't gonna um so this beast ain't gonna win, man. 
as we read in Revelation, all right, the beast was taken and cast into the lake of fire. All right, so the, so the, the elect going to get the victory. This, the victory is already won, man. We just got to be patient, all right? Have that faith, all right, and then do to the end. All right, and hopefully, you know, we be part of the elect. Um, you know, hopefully we're part of that number, man, that make it on the um, first go-round, all right? Hopefully we are the, we are the first fruits, all right? So this is um, Revelation. Um, what I wanted in Revelation. Get our temptation. This is book of Revelation chapter 3. Verse 10. All right. And these are, these, this is red letter. All right. These are the words of um, Yahweh Shai. Because thou hast, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which is MOTB, which is just see here, man. Because thou hast kept the word, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. And that in this hour of temptation, all right, it's going to be this C-Hilt, man, this M-O-T-B. You know, as you can see, they already got the, dem the demonization ready, man. All right. <laughs> All right, they already, they already, they already got the infrastructure laid, man. All right, so hopefully this, so like it, hopefully this was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Rukak All right, I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach them real well in all truth and sincerity. All right, I want to say shalom, one peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the house of David. All right, and until the next time. All right, DTA, a Baba Ball, shalom. One. I had a friend, Nick Rockefeller, okay, who was one of the Rockefeller family, and he, uh, uh, when I was running for governor in Nevada, he came to me, introduced himself to me through an attorney, and uh, we became friends. We started talking about things, and um, I learned an awful lot from Mr. Rockefeller. And one of the things that we used to talk about was the ultimate plan of the banking industry, what they wanted to accomplish. And the goals of the uh, banking industry, not, not just the Federal Reserve System, but the private banks in Germany and England, all over Italy, all over the world, they all work together. They're all central banks. And they're, and they're all part of the Communist Manifesto. You know, central banking is one of the major planks of the Communist Manifesto. We talk about America being a capitalistic country, but yet at the same time we have a central bank that plans everything for us. Right? And the graduated income tax is another plank of the Communist Manifesto. Right? So right there you have two major planks of the Communist Manifesto that have been brought in because of the Federal Reserve System. Okay? So uh, the ultimate goal that these people have in mind is the goal to um, create a one world government run by the banking industry, run by the bankers. Where, and, and they're doing it in sections. The, the European currency, the euro, and, and the European Constitution is one part of it. Now they're trying to do it in America with the North American Union, right? And they want to create a new currency called the Amero, right? And uh, the, whole, the, the whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an, R, R, an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be uh, in those chips. Right? There'll be no more cash. And this is getting me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. And all money will be in your chips. And so, any, so not, instead of having cash, anytime you have money in your, in, your, in your chip, they can take out whatever they want to take out whenever they want to. If they say you owe us this much money in taxes, they just deduct it out of your chip digitally. Total control. Total control. And if you're like me or you, and you're protesting what they're doing, they can just turn off your chip. And you have nothing. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. It's total control of the people. And that chip's connected to a database that has your purchasing records, what you do, what Everything, you sell. everything is in there, you know? And so they, they want a one world government controlled by them, everybody being chipped, all your money in those chips, and they control the chips and they control the people. And you become a slave. You become a serf to these people. That's their goal. That's their intention.